Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Witton Bassett in the UK. Now we like to keep our eyes peeled for any new stories sharing information about valuable collectible coins that you can find out in your change. Recently we came across one which alleges that one of the Paddington Bear 50ps is worth £1,500. We need to have a look into this. There have been four different Paddington Bear coins put out into circulation that you can find in your change. Two Two coins were minted in 2018 and another two in 2019. On each of these coins, Paddington visits an iconic London landmark. In 2018, he visited Paddington Station. You can see the unmistakable arches in the ceiling, which were also the subject of a £2 coin minted back in 2006. There is also a train in the design. Perhaps he's just got off of it, or maybe Paddington Bear is a bit of a train spotter. At Paddington Station, there is also a statue of this famous bear, which you can go and see. In 2019, he visited the Tower of London. I know we've missed out one of the 2018 coins, but we'll be back to that in a moment. In the background of this coin, you can see the White Tower. The Tower of London was built during the reign of William the Conqueror and has a huge amount of our national history tied up in it. From the princes in the tower and other prisoners, the fascinating creatures kept there by previous monarchs, the crown jewels stored there, and it was once the home of the Royal Mint. The Mint was in the Tower of London for several hundred years before moving across the road to Tower Hill and then later onto Hantricent, South Wales in more recent history. They enjoy much more space and technology in Wales than they would have within the walls of the Tower of London. In 2019, he also visited St Paul's Cathedral, again a site which has featured on coins in the past, including the most common circulating commemorative £2 coin, the VE Day Anniversary, which was released back in 2005. So that's a few sites that have already appeared on Paddington's coins. Perhaps Paddington is a coin collector and wanted to see the landmarks on the coins in his collection in person. There is one more coin from 2018 which is the topic of today's video, Paddington at Buckingham Palace. More recently we will all recall fondly the video of Paddington Bear and Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II which was produced during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. It seems he made such a good impression in 2018 that in 2022 he was invited back to share tea and marmalade sandwiches with our late queen. This is the coin which according to the news article in question is worth £1,500. So let's work out how true that really is. One factor which will help determine the value of a coin is its mintage figure. This is the total quantity that the Roman has produced of this version of a coin to be put out into circulation. Just for comparison, the Kew Gardens 50p, which is the rarest circulating commemorative 50p coin, had a grand total of only 210,000 of these minted for our change. So then, how many Paddingtons at the Palace 50ps were there? 5,901,000. That seems quite a bit more than a Kew Gardens 50p, which should raise some red flags given that the article suggests that the Paddington 50p is worth considerably more than the Kew Gardens. The mintage figure of the Paddington at the Palace 50p is actually higher than the figure for the Paddington at the station released in the same year, in fact 900,000 more than that. It sits between 2015's Battle of Britain and 2016's Team GB 50ps in terms of how rare they are. And these two coins are fairly common face value ones that you shouldn't have much difficulty finding in your change. Rarity isn't always the sole determining factor of the value of a coin though. The 2017 Shield 50p for instance is actually the fifth rarest circulating 50p out there. With only 1.8 million made, in fact 1500 less than the Sir Isaac Newton 50p, which is a highly prized and semi-valuable commemorative coin. But the 2017 Shield 50p doesn't hold nearly as much value as the Isaac Newton coin. So we do have to take into account the popularity of the theme or individual design, as well as how many were made and how hard it is now to find one. Although I think you'd struggle to find someone who likes Paddington Bear or Buckingham Palace enough to pay £1,500 for a circulated version of this coin. The article in question did reference eBay in their valuation. And this is where their story starts to unravel. Because sites like eBay allow users to post whatever they want for whatever price they want. 
it doesn't mean that they're selling or people are buying it at that price. If we have a quick look at the prices today of Paddington at the Palace, we can see plenty of crazier prices than was quoted in the article. This is a real issue with collectible coins and the media. The media gets the attention of viewers or readers with big values. An article about a 50p coin being worth 50p doesn't quite have the grab of a 50p coin being worth £1,500. But this does then cause issues for new collectors or those who don't go on to do a bit of further research. They might see this coin being reported as being worth £1,500 in one article and then find it listed for £1,000 and think they're getting a real bargain when actually they've spent a thousand pounds on a very common coin worth just 50p. And then when they come into our shop to sell their coin, we have to be the bearers of bad news. Or those of you on social media or your friends and family having to educate people not just to blindly follow the headlines. And this is why we keep doing these videos, to make sure that we get to add our opinion into the mix. And it's also fun to have a little bit of a laugh at the expense of some of our country's biggest news outlets talking nonsense about coins. If you're working out the value of a coin that you found, for instance the Paddington at the Palace 50p, then what you really want to be looking for is the sold prices. You can do this with a number of different websites. A quick look reveals that sometimes a coin does sell for a smidge over face value, but nowhere near the £1,500 suggested in this news article. There may on occasion be outliers though, one or two that might show as having sold for absolutely crazy prices, but you should never be led by the one-off that breaks a trend. There are a number of reasons that one coin might appear to sell for ridiculous prices. It could be a well-informed buyer just winding up a seller, buying the item but never actually making payment for it. Or it could be more troubling, as it has been known for money launderers to make their cash seem legitimate with a purchase of a coin online. Either way, look at the masses, not the individual listings when you're doing your own research. Now there is also a so-called error on this coin that does the rounds from time to time. It looks like a little bit of extra metal on the ground to the left of Paddington, with some people playfully calling it the crisp packet error because it looks like an empty crisp packet that's been dropped. This is a real error, as it is not how the coin is supposed to appear, but valuable it is not. This is another thing to stress, that not all errors add huge or any sort of value. With coins minted to be put out into circulation, the raw mint produces these in vast quantities at tremendous speeds. Up to 16 coins a second can be struck. I can't imagine doing anything 16 times in a second. It's kind of mind-blowing. Of course, the Royal Mint does do quality checks, but at these kind of speeds and volumes, they can't be expected to check every single coin. So every now and again, a minor error will make its way into our change. This crisp packet error is caused by slight damage to the die, which is what strikes a blank disc with an impression of the design to create a coin. A slight chip in the die or crack can leave an interesting impression which differs from how the coin was intended to appear. Sometimes these types of errors can add value, like with the Navy Centenary £2 coin minted back in 2015. You can sometimes find this coin with a lump of extra metal where a flag might be on a ship. So this is called the flag error. We are talking a few pounds though in added value, not exceptional figures which will allow you to retire in luxury if you do find one. It is already a rare and sought after coin too, unlike the Paddington 50p which we've been looking at. So is the Paddington at the Palace 50p worth £1,500? Sadly not. It is a common face value coin and although a collector who needs one for their collection and can't find one may spend a bit more just to add it into their collection, £1,500 is far too much money and you could buy yourself some really impressive coins for that kind of money instead. So if you see people spreading this nonsense or saying that they have seen that it's worth crazy amounts of money, then send them a link to this video. So apologies to those of you who are sitting on Paddington at the Palace 50p's hoping to sell them in the future and reap the rewards. Maybe in a thousand years they'll be of some interest to the archaeologists of the future, but today this coin is really only worth 50p. One other takeaway from today's video is to think that if you find a coin in your change, you're more than likely to find a common circulating coin, not a rare one worth tons of money. It is of course always worth double checking whether your coin is a rare or valuable one, but do make sure you're not being 
misled by absolute nonsense news articles. Now be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. There's also links down in the description if you want to add some of the Paddington 50ps or other coins that we featured in today's video to your collection. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on TikTok and Twitter, we have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.